video for you guys showing you guys the uh, 2022 MK808. So basically, this is I've done another video for MK808. This is gonna be uh, another video for the 2022 version. This one, a vendor sent me, so I'm making a review on it. All right, let me take this cover off and then catch back the video for you guys. All right, pull the cover off. This is the Autel case. Okay, just pop this off. All right, so then it comes with the tool in front of me right here. Comes with this tool. Um, then it comes with the OBD cord, okay, which you plug into the top of the device. It screws into the top from here. Then it has a memory card that you can use to put in the top here to get more memory. And it has the reference guide. Okay, and then the manual for the device. Alright, so I have a lot of experience using this tool, especially the older version. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna kind of go over how things usually work for this tool. Or how it works um there's a couple things that i didn't go over i'm gonna power it on which is already on okay okay now for this specific car it doesn't pull pin codes okay it i mean for this tool it doesn't pull pin codes um uh, i also have the im508 which is this one this is the one that i used to pull pin codes and everything and stuff like that the mk808 cannot do that um, basically this tool is still very good. It can do like newer Honda Accords, new Hondas, um, and stuff like, all, mostly all cars with keys that doesn't, that don't have you to pull pins, you can do with this tool. Um, so then, you know, this is the 2022 version. So, you know, we have diagnostic, which is, you know, scanning, um, car systems. It scans, um, um, European cars, it scans, um, American cars, but it does scans better um, European cars and stuff like that. But it does a good job um, scanning Japanese cars and all that other stuff too. So then we have service. So service has been updated a lot since the last time that I've done a video on the MK808. They've added a couple more things where they added um, clutch, trans adaptation, um, AF, AF. Then they got automatic start stop, electronic um, water pump, EGR. Then they have VIN. Then they have um, FRM reset, transport mode, HV battery, ACC, AC, and rain and light sensor reset. These are all new options that they never had before. These are all new options that they that they have now. So basically what shop manager is, is basically you can go to vehicle history, like vehicles that you've scanned and stuff like that, and it'll show you. Um, basically, like I said, it'll go to vehicle history and um basically can go to a car or whatever just say it's a bmw that i scanned and all of these codes popped up for this vehicle so as you can see it's really good and then we have an ultima also okay and then this is the code that came out for the ultima one of the new ultimas okay and then we have data manager images reports pdfs different things like that to uninstall apps then we have settings language unit language printing settings firmware multitask auto update car order system settings okay then we have updates this is where you go to this tells you how many subscription days that you have left before you have to renew you hit the renew button to update and then we have all of the other companies here i'm gonna update this one that to update there's updates that come regularly it tells you for different cars make some models I don't update for all these companies because some of these aren't even in the United States some of these are out of the United States so it doesn't even matter if you update it or not okay so then we have function viewer so what function viewer is is that basically you can go to different um, you can go to different tools that Altel has and you can actually see what options that it allows you so I'm gonna go to the MK808 right let me see. Okay, so the MK808, then I'm going to go to, then it's loading up. It has to be connected to the internet in order to do that. Okay, so then then say we'll go to Audi, right? 
I don't think this one does Audi this tool. Let me try a different company. Let me see. Let me do a Honda. Okay. I'm gonna go to all. This is all years. So it shows me what years Honda. So let me go to CRV, CRZ, and then it shows me what the sub functions will be passenger car sws or you can go to type subsystem and then go to the exact system that you want to know what it'll do for that system for the car see it doesn't do the keyless that's the keyless transmitter okay so we'll try honda cord uh 2018 and below so it does 2018 and below okay so we have door locks it can program keys i've done keys for 2017 2018 accords using this device so it does do um those year accords and probably some of those um some other models too i'm not too sure but i've done a couple different car companies with this tool this is a good tool and it scans really good the systems and stuff like that if you guys are interested i'm put a link down in the video description um then we have support all your motorization academy this is where they show you how to use the tool if you're interested remote desktop so where you can try to control it from your phone or um another computer or whatever then it has quick link to where you can go to the internet and then maxi fix is like a little blog website thing where everyone goes on and you know, ask questions about different vehicles and years and models. Um, I'm going to make a quick video. Um, this, I just want to make a quick video on this tool, like going over some of the features that it has. Um, it's a great tool to get. It's a great beginner tool, especially if you're looking to, you know, start out working on cars and different things like that. The tool runs about $479 on Amazon. This is the MK808 which it shows here okay if you guys have any questions feel free to ask don't forget to like share subscribe and comment peace